And world leaders are back at the United Nations today, this after staying away last year due to the pandemic. One of the first speakers at the General Assembly was President Biden, who was facing scrutiny for his decisions in Afghanistan. Michael George is at the UN with the latest. Joseph R. Biden Jr. Standing before world leaders for the first time since U.S. troops left Afghanistan, President Biden defended his decision to end the war. For the first time in 20 years, the United States not at war. We've turned the page. All the unmatched strength, energy, and commitment, will, and resources of our nation are now fully and squarely focused on what's ahead of us. Mr. Biden also called for intensive diplomacy to combat climate change and COVID-19. Bombs and bullets cannot defend against COVID-19 or its future variants. To fight this pandemic, we need a collective act of science and political will. President Biden was only here at the UN for about an hour, the White House says, due to COVID concerns. Tomorrow, he'll convene a virtual COVID-19 summit. Monday, the UN Secretary General told reporters the relationship between the US and China is completely dysfunctional and warned it could lead to a new Cold War. We are not seeking a new Cold War or a world divided into rigid blocks. The United States is ready to work with any nation that steps up and pursues peaceful resolution to shared challenges. This is the first in-person General Assembly in two years because of the pandemic. More than 100 world leaders are expected to address the General Assembly from the podium. Michael George, CBS News, the United Nations. President Biden meets with the prime ministers from Australia and the UK this afternoon.